Hi, uh, I'm Michelle with Michelle Spot, and I'm going to show you today how to make apple pie boilo. I'm going to first show you the ingredients that are going to be in the recipe, and then I will show you the recipe. So here's the ingredients. You need sugar, regular sugar, brown sugar, vanilla, and you'll need cinnamon sticks because you're going to need at least eight cinnamon sticks. Um, a whole gallon of apple cider, a half a gallon of apple juice, and then you can have your choice of either the Four Queens or um, you can use vodka, um, Everclear, or moonshine. This is a easily made version of apple pie moonshine that we're making. And it's real simple to make. I'm going to show you the recipe so you know. The recipe here calls for, like I said, the gallon of apple cider, a half a gallon of apple juice, one cup of sugar, a half a cup of brown sugar, a tablespoon of vanilla, and a dash of, or a shake of cinnamon, and then your eight cinnamon sticks. And you can add apple slices, you can add pretty much whatever you want to it, any kind of fruit or, you know, it's, it depends on how you want to make it, but this is the apple pie version, which is extremely good when you're finished. Um, you're, we're going to mix everything together in a large pot, and we're going to bring it to a boil for 45 minutes, and then you're going to let it cool to a lukewarm, and you're going to strain it. So after you strain it, then that's when you add the alcohol to it, because you don't want to add the alcohol while it's hot or warm real warm because you'll just cook the alcohol right out of it. So um, I'm going to show you um, how we get started with this. Okay, as you can see I got the big pot. This is what we're going to use to um, boil our boilo. And I'm going to show you how um, what we're going to put in it. Alright, so what we're going to do is add our gallon of apple cider. To the pot. We're going to pour the whole gallon in. Save your jug and put the finished product back in. Alright, so we have our gallon of apple cider. And now we're going to take our half a gallon of apple juice and we're going to pour the whole half gallon of apple juice in there. We're going to add our one cup of regular sugar. So pour your one cup of regular sugar in there. And after we add our one cup of regular sugar, we are going to add our half a cup of brown sugar. Okay, so I have it already measured out and ready to go. Half a cup of brown sugar. And then we are going to take a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Okay, so we're just going to put a tablespoon. Right. So we have a tablespoon of vanilla extract, and then we want to shake a little cinnamon. So we'll have your ground cinnamon, and just shake a little in, not much. That's it. And then you're going to add your eight sticks of cinnamon. Okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six. I had just enough in this jar of cinnamon sticks. Okay? Then you're going to turn it on because you're going to want to boil this. You're going to want to boil this for 45 minutes. So 
So you're going to stir everything up. And you can stir it occasionally to make sure everything is mixed in there really good. And it's going to start to smell like apple pie in your house. Which is going to smell so good soon. You guys are going to love this. It's really good. So we're going to boil this for 45 minutes. I'm going to let this boil for 45 minutes and then I'll bring you back to show you um, afterwards. Um, when we're done boiling it for 45 minutes and after it cools to a lukewarm then you're going to add your seven yeah, first you're going to strain it and then um, after you strain it really good then you're going to add your seven 700 750 milliliters of alcohol so it's your choice like i said of, you can either use the four queens or vodka or get moonshine or um even everclear to mix in here and um, it's good if you drink it a little warm. Um, it tastes really good. So warm or cold, um, it's good either way. And um, as soon as we get this to a boil, I'll bring you back and we'll show you the results. Okay, so this is the finished product. Well, not finished yet, but we strain it. And you can either strain with one of these nets or a coffee filter would be good to use too because there's little pieces that um, come out of it. So once you get it strained, you put it back in the pot. And then we're going to add our bottle. We're gonna add our bottle of four queens. You're gonna pour the whole bottle in here. Splash all over the place, but okay. and we're going to stir this up really good. Here's your finished product. Enjoy, it's really good. Really yummy apple pie boilo. Especially when it's warm. Comment below, let me know what you think. Bye.